Welcome back to the Monograms Easy Top Eliminator build. It's been a while since I've been back at the bench. I had to take a little break from this kit for, for a while. First I managed to get two coats of Rust-Oleum 2X white primer on the body. Then I glued the fenders to the body and taped on the roof in order to spray on the red craft acrylic paint. Then I removed the roof and did a little bit of scraping in order to eliminate the seam between the roof and the body. By shaving about a millimeter off the top of the interior door panel, I was able to eliminate the little gap at the back right corner of the roof where it joins onto the body, which is a problem with this kit. While the roof was off, I installed the windows, steering wheel, and dashboard. So I've got the body and the roof painted. The chassis is all set to go. As per the instructions, what they want you to do is to attach the body to the chassis and then install the seat from the top and then put the roof on which is what I'm going to try to do but since it's been painted I have to glue the roof on without messing up the paint so I'm going to try using the Gorilla Super Glue with the brush applicator just a little bit around the edge of the roof, put that on there. I first put the seat in and the chassis and then put that on. Hopefully I can do that without messing up the, uh, the paint job. So now I've got the radiator in and the rad hose have been attached. I've dry fitted the roof a few times on here, but now with the windshield in place, the windshield bottom here was hitting the dash and not letting the roof sit flat on the side of the body here. So I shaved some off the bottom of the window and uh, left it pretty narrow there to re-glue it. I shaved some off the back of the dashboard and I still had the same problem so what I did was I moved the dashboard back. This was up on top of those little knobs there. Let's see, focus here. This was sitting on top of here. I cut it loose and moved it back and down a bit so it's down below this. So now the windshield drops in here behind the dashboard and allows the roof to sit flat on the body. And I've done a little bit of sanding on the corners here uh, so that the roof would sit flat here without any gaps. So once everything is uh, settled now and dried, I'm just uh, going to try gluing the roof onto the body. Well, we've been making fairly good progress. we got the roof on. There's just a very slight seam around the edge here. Uh, glued it on with super glue. I got the headlights on, the radiator in, the rad cover on, license plate and tail lights are on, the running boards are on. Uh, the only thing left now is the uh, exhaust pipes and the wheels and the decals to go on and the mirror. Uh, when I put the hood on, uh, after putting the roof on, I put the hood on and, and tried to get this radiator uh, grill shroud on. It didn't quite line up. There's a bit of a gap on each side. I managed to fill it with glue as much as possible and then just uh, touched it up with some red paint and that's going to have to be uh, as, as good as it gets I guess. Um, so I can put the this on. It lines up fairly well. The, the radiator grill is a little bit off but uh, that's about as much as effort as I'm going to put into it. Uh, I think from down, if I start playing with it too much, it's uh, going, to, going to make it worse. So it's taking shape. It's looking pretty good. Get the exhaust pipes on now, just let, letting the glue dry on the uh, lights and the uh, boards and that. Once that's all done, I'll put the decals on and then I'll give it a coat, a good coat of uh, future to seal everything up. And I think the the wheels uh, will just uh, they snug they fit on tight enough that they just sort of snap on. 